Sometimes you have a fun design like this card that we can see on the screen right now and it looks nice and cool but there's some hidden content there and the only way to expose this content is when we hover on the card and that poses a bit of a problem on a mobile device where hovering our finger over something doesn't really accomplish much but luckily there is a way to build in a fallback or a different solution for people that are on mobile devices or that are using mouses or other pointing devices. Hello my front end friends, thank you so much for coming to join me once again. And if you're new here, my name is Kevin and here at my channel I help you fall in love with CSS and if I can't get you to fall in love with it, I'm hoping to at least help you be a little bit less frustrated by it. Today we're going to be doing that by looking at media queries that let us see how somebody is interacting with their device and or what the primary way they can interact with their device is anyway and build CSS around that. So let's jump into this card that I have right here that you can see and that we just looked at. And I'm not going to deep dive everything here because I've actually covered this in a previous video. But what I want to do is focus on the CSS, which is coming down here. This is all the hover stuff. So here is some things that I've set up and some of it is where we are as the default state and then as we sort of move things around. So this is actually what's hiding it right now and then we can come in and uh, you know the different things that are happening when the card is actually showing. And to be able to do this we're going to use a media query and we have two different choices for this media query. We have So it's an app media but instead of looking for a screen size or other things what we can do here is a hover and you could just actually do hover like this, but I like to be a bit more explicit with it now where you can either do a hover, hover. And so this would give us some things that we can do and, or we could do an app media and do a hover, none. So this would target devices that hover, that can hover. And this one would target, I guess, only devices that don't hover, uh, targets devices targets only devices that can hover. Now there are a few important notes is what type of what can hover and what can't hover. So a stylus or things like that are also considered uh, things that can hover because you're controlling, you're using your stylus to say where you are on the device. But this is also for the, the primary input because you can have multiple inputs. You could have a laptop that also has a touch screen or you can have your phone that you can use a stylus on. Uh, this doesn't, your phone doesn't know you're using a stylus necessarily. So it's looking at the primary input method. So what I'm actually going to do is in here, let's write body background color is going to be, let's choose something. Uh, let's choose, uh, we'll do steel blue. And I'm going to throw an important on here just because if not, I don't think it's going to overwrite or it might not overwrite the background I currently have. Uh, though it should, it should be lower down. The cascade should kick in, but we'll just important that one just to be sure. And here instead of steel blue, let's just choose a different color. We'll go maybe into, there we go, sort of a, a dark purpley color. Uh, and hit save and we can see that right now our hover hover is giving us this steel blue color. And I'm in, I'm in Firefox now, so I'm going to do a control shift M to open the mobile mode. And I'm going to show this in Chrome as well because it's a little bit different there. But in Firefox, when you first open it, by default, we are in still this hover hover mode. We still have a pointing device, so the pointer's working. But if I go over and I click on this little hand icon that's here, now it's simulating a touch device. So I'm actually going to refresh the page, and you can see the background has now touched to a touch device, so it's coming in with this dark background color. Uh, and you know scrollings like that and if I go here the hover is not actually doing anything if you are using Chrome just to show really fast I'm going to do control shift I to open up uh, my dev tools which are not docked once your dev tools are open and active then you can do a control shift M or of course you can just hit this little icon that's right here uh, so if I click on that or control shift M as long as I'm in my dev tools you can see I didn't even have to refresh the page it has jumped over and changed the background color on me now in Chrome I said it was a little bit different and you can see here I have a mobile uh, your icons here, you might see things a little bit differently, but it says mobile right now. And it just means I can go mobile or mobile no touch. And you can actually see it switched. And we just have to make that bigger so I can see it. Uh, or you can do desktop or desktop touch. And you can see that depending on what the primary input is, that's changing what the background color is. Uh, now, just if you don't see this and you want to get it, uh, you can go to here and choose uh, remove device type. Or you can come in and do add device type. And then it should appear up here. 
Uh, and if you can't see it, sometimes you do have to make your browser window bigger because uh, as it gets bigger or smaller, some of those things do hide away. So yeah, that's how it works in the two browsers. Uh, if you do want to test things out, which is always super handy to do. Uh, now in this case, I don't want to do changing of, of different colors. <laughs> what I want to do is just take all of these styles that are related to the hover situation and I want to put them inside of this hover hover right here. And now if I'm there and I'm in a touch device, everything just appears. It's already there. But if I go into a regular device that does not have touch and it's a pointer device, then it's going to give me this type of interaction. And let's go back, refresh the page again. And now everything is just always visible. This does take a little bit of thinking about to get things working the way you do. So generally what I do is I style it so it's in the finished state like we can see now. And then I come through and in my hover hover, I add all the extra things in. And that's generally how I like to approach things do the least amount of work and the least amount of overwriting as possible. So I'm not hiding everything and then having to show it again inside of a hover none here. Because if I did the hover none here, I would have to make the whole thing work and then remove all that functionality, which means overwriting tons of CSS I've already done. Whereas in this case, it's more about getting it all to work and then trying to hide things and make the hover work. It's either way isn't going to be zero work, but I find most of the time this one is a lot less. Now there's actually two other media queries that I'm not going to go into in this one, but it's something you could look into and I'll put links for more information on these below where there is a pointer uh, course like this. And there's another one that's a pointer fine. And that deals with the type of pointer that they have. A course pointer would be a touch device. Uh, I think it's also for TV displays and things like that, where, you know, you have to control your mouse with a controller. Uh, and the fine is if you have a mouse or a stylus, you have more precision. And so that is another one that you do have access to if you need to make a little bit more fine tuning compared to what we have here. And if you'd like to actually see this entire build and how I made this entire thing, that video is right here for your viewing pleasure. And with that, I want to say a very big thank you to my supporters of awesome, Jan, Johnny, Stuart, Tim, and Simon over on Patreon, as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner on the internet just a little bit more awesome.